Today, I'm going to be telling you why engineers make the best entrepreneurs. There is one thing that Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai, Apple CEO Tim Cook, General Motors CEO Mary Barra, and Tesla, SpaceX, Twitter CEO, you know who I'm talking about, Elon Musk. There is one thing that these people all have in common. They're engineers. My message, if you're an engineer, inventor, or an innovator, or any kind of creative technical person, that does not preclude you from also being an entrepreneur. As a matter of fact, I believe strongly that having an engineering degree makes you better suited to be a CEO than having an MBA. And I, James Calcagni, in addition to all of those great names that I just mentioned, I myself am living proof. As a recently graduated mechanical engineer who started my own company last year, I have found great success in the fact that I can rely on my engineering skills, my background in things like robotics, mechanical design, and biomechanics to solve problems and get things done. In this video, I'm going to explain why that is and then go through some of the advantages that you have starting a business as an engineer. And finally, my tips to success. The number one reason us engineers make great entrepreneurs is our ability to make great products. Engineers are the people who actually design and build all of the things that we use, whether it's a phone, a computer, a piece of software, a car, a rocket, or a medical device. Engineers are the ones who understand how to take those ideas and turn them into reality. If this is something you want to learn how to do, or you want to learn more about, I will be going through my entire design process in one of my upcoming videos. So make sure you annihilate the subscribe button to learn more about that. The truth is that if you design great products, profits will follow. For example, my current focus is to design waterproof prosthetic devices for people with lower limb amputations. These devices help people with disabilities to live their lives with greater mobility. Because of my engineering knowledge in the area of design and biomechanics, as well as my strong background in math, physics, science, and technology, I am able to design, create, build, and improve my product. I understand how to iterate and am continually coming up with newer and better ideas that I am able to execute on. That technical know-how that comes with an engineering background allows me to make better products for people to use, which makes me a much better CEO than someone who is focused on studying PowerPoints or poring over finances, and which makes my company, Liquid Limbs, a better company overall. The same can be said about Elon Musk's Tesla cars. He is focused on engineering the product and making the product better. That is what is going to drive the sales for the company. Or the late Steve Jobs iPhone. He made a really, really great product that's going to be used for generations and years to come. That's what any great engineer and business person should hope to do. If you make a great product, people will want to buy it and you will have a compelling company. And in addition to the product creation, as an engineer, I have immense experience solving problems. That means when a problem arises in my business, I know how to solve it, or at least have the capacity to figure out how to solve it. That applies to technical things like production issues or design issues, but it also applies to other aspects like marketing. When you are starting a company, building a product, creating a new technology, there are surely problems to arise. And when that happens, I apply the same problem solving techniques that come naturally to engineers. Something a quote business person might not be as adept at doing. Business people might be good at balancing the books, but when it comes to creating successful, innovative companies, which deliver awesome products and in turn make their companies truly great, the engineer will win every time. Being an engineer on some levels means that you like to solve problems and that is what your business ought to be doing. Taking the best that exists and making it better and better. And that's one of the core reasons that I believe engineers make great entrepreneurs. 
Um, and so now that I've kind of gone through that, let me give you some tips for getting started yourself. For me, that was the hardest part, getting started. When you're just getting started, you don't know what you don't know. And so in the beginning, it's, it's really difficult. There are some key resources, though, that can help you get on the right path. For one, find yourself a mentor, someone who has been in your shoes and done what you are trying to do now. Use resources like LinkedIn or YouTube to learn from subject matter experts. For example, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue to learn lessons from me and tips that will help you become a better entrepreneur. My next recommendation is to talk to your potential customers. Who is your target market for your product? Empathize with your customers and come to really understand their problems. As an engineer, you'll be very easily able to solve the technical challenges so long as you truly understand the problem that you are trying to solve. If you create a compelling product for your customer base, the entrepreneurship part and the business part will be easy in comparison. The most important thing is that you empathize with your customer and you really understand their needs. For example, before I ever designed any prosthetic products, I first did over 20 interviews with people who have lived experiences with limb loss. I learned things in those interviews that eventually enabled me to make a product that they really enjoy using and solves their pain points. If you are a student, a professor, or alumnus of an engineering program, you should also check out the resources that your university offers. Head over to the business school and see what kinds of mentoring you can get. Often, they give this away for free, and I cannot express how extremely valuable those resources are. And if you're not, check out your local government small business development center. There are so many resources for entrepreneurs. All you need to do is ask for help. I also specifically recommend that you search for pitch competitions either at your university or in your local community. In my first year of starting my company, I was able to pull in over $33,000 in funding through pitch competitions alone, which is extremely important for starting a company. Regardless of what your venture is, you will need funding. So pitch competitions are a great place to start. And engineers are extremely compelling in these competitions because it is clear that you understand and are able to execute on your technology. I will talk more on how to approach these competitions as well as other ways to raise funding in future videos. So stay tuned to my channel to learn more about that. But finally, the most important thing is that you keep moving forward with your idea. You can do this. You have an engineering mindset. And that is the most valuable asset you can use to create your company. Don't get bogged down in the mundane aspects of entrepreneurship. Stay attentive and committed to your vision. Believe in yourself and work hard every day. And I promise you, you will see the fruits of your labor. I am so excited to see what you create.